Hey guys, and welcome back to Tech Guild. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to take out your trackpad for your MacBook Pro. Now, if you've done it before, it's gonna look exactly like this. This is just one that I've done previously. As you can see, all the screws are gone and you just have an empty space of where it used to be. Now, this is also good if you ever wanna clean out the spacing in between your trackpad. If you ever do get debris, as you can see over here, we got a lot of debris in there. So if you're interested in this video, stay tuned. We'll be right back. Welcome back guys. So to begin with, we're gonna need a T9 uh, screwdriver, or sorry, T4. Yeah, a T4 screwdriver and a Phillips head. I'm not sure what size it is, but you wanna get the smallest size possible. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna start off with the Phillips screwdriver and we're gonna unscrew these four screws here. And they are pretty small, so you definitely wanna be careful uh, not to knock them over. God forbid you sneeze and then they fly all over the place. Uh, Apple seems to make the most impossible of screws out of all of the manufacturers out there. And you're gonna to wanna to take out this little plastic plastic film or whatever you want to call it. And it just goes in between here. I'm just assuming this is what gives your trackpad the ability to be able to tap uh, evenly all across. Uh, that's just my assumption. And then we're going to take this T4 screwdriver or whatever they call it and unscrew it. Now it's going to be a little tight because they do have this uh, kind of like a glue thing on there. This one was tighter than the, the last one for some odd reason. Yeah, and they just come on out. Now, now that you've finished all these screws, I just wanna let you know there are some more screws down here. There are two of them right here and here. Uh, don't worry about the ones right next to the copper. That's actually for the trackpad itself. I'm assuming this is what gives you the haptic feedback. So you're just gonna take out these two here on the side. Now they are different compared to your regular screws. So you will tell them apart. As you can see, one has a white uh, stripe and the other one has like a blue. So feel free to keep them together. You're actually going to be able to tell them apart based on those uh, stripes or bands, whatever you want to call them. And that's basically it guys. So you're going to have this adhesive on this cable right here. So you're just going to want to lift it up a bit because as soon as you flip it over, your track pad is, is going to fall right out. I'm actually holding it with my finger on the other side. So there it is. You just, Pull it out and it's that easy guys. Oh crap, I forgot to mention. Uh, you will have these little aluminum footings that will go right in there. I'm, I'm assuming it acts much like a washer. So you definitely, once you finish uh, taking out the screws, you definitely kind of want to just screw them back in here just so they can hold their place and you'll be able to find them. So that's it guys. If you like this video, please be sure to leave us a comment and hit that smash button for the YouTube algorithm and consider subscribing. Peace and I'll see you next time. I don't know nobody that can do it like this. I've been on the ground like this, like this, like this. Do you like this? Don't nobody do you like this, like this, like this. This is my shit. You be like, you be like, it's about as good as it gets Do it like this Do it like, do it like, do it like, do it like this